everyone, thanks for tuning in to this episode of HXGN TV. I'm your host, Jackie. More and more electronics manufacturers are turning to smart manufacturing to make sure they accelerate innovation and stay competitive in this exciting, rapidly innovating industry. New product development and introduction is one of the key fields for this industry. So today we have Keith Perrin from MSC Software, who's going to be talking to us a little bit about the role that simulation plays in electronics. Thanks for joining us, Keith. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for being here. So a very simple question to start out with, why smart manufacturing? That's a great question, why smart manufacturing? I get asked that a lot by customers. You know, the impact of what we do on what manufacturers do is quite important. Cost, right? Costs are embedded right in the design process early on in manufacturing. And how much things cost is of prime importance to consumer products. We lower the cost, we get it to more people. Right. It's a cost. Uh, secondly, an important idea, efficiency. Mm -hmm. right? So how much does that thing cost to make it's going to have a massive impact on its cost. So if we can lower the unit price and the manufacturing price associated with it, we can make it cheaper. Mm -hmm. And finally, and this is a big one, efficiency comes again in effect. The sustainability, the amount of raw materials in these things, the amount of toxic materials, the amount of compliance that we have to now bear in mind as these things are manufactured is a really key, important idea as these things move forward in the future. Yeah, so there's three things that are really important, as I said there, cost, efficiency, and innovation. Those three things together, key for consumer electronics. And how would you say the electronics industry is changing? Oh, well, definitely development times are speeding up. The time from which an idea is conceived to the time at which it's expected to start bringing in returns as a product is shortening all the time. And people want to try out numerous different ideas before things are even matured increasingly. So it's getting a lot more compressed, a lot faster. Even products that are expected to mature once they're in place are starting to happen. We see that a lot, right? You've got a cell phone, it updates. Right? That idea is getting more and more prevalent in not just electronics, a number of other different industries, which is affecting electronics. A very rapid pace things are changing. Yes, very rapid. <laughs> How does computer-aided engineering and simulation improve the speed of product development, which will help keep up with that speed of innovation? Well, if you think about it, producing a physical idea of something takes time. You've got right. to build it. So simulating it, well, that's got to mean you've got to have a real thing to develop, right? So that means you can only develop so many ideas so fast. If we can do it digitally, we can do it much faster. And with the power of AI, uh, automated intelligence, machine learning, we can do things faster too. So we can start doing much more iterations in the computer long before the product is ever made to get the design right, to get any ideas about innovation in place earlier. That could be very beneficial, I could see that. Surely quality is dependent on how the product is manufactured, not just how it's designed. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. The idea of design impacting manufacturing is a very prevalent one in most engineering mm -hmm. fields, right? Design for manufacture, DFM. Very mm -hmm. common idea, and it's certainly true in electronics, right? So in order to affect manufacturing, that all happens in design, right? I would estimate that something like 95% of the cost of a product, the cost of a consumer product or electronics is impacted in design. So if you wrap that up then, it doesn't matter how good your manufacturing process is, if it's wrong from the get-go, you're going to have problems. So impacting and I understanding those things before design is completed, before it's locked down, before you start making it, that's key. If we can do it earlier, we can make those ideas and cost savings faster and earlier in the process. Absolutely. And looking ahead to the future, because everyone certainly is here at CES, do you foresee a future where products are perfected entirely in simulation? No, I don't. And another great question, right? we're all going to simulation. Well, I see more and more simulation being done, mm -hmm. but ultimately we're going to have to couple that with physical simulation as well, with physical ideas. And that's the key of what Hexagon does. Right. At Hexagon, we're quite unique in this ability to bring together the, the virtual and the physical and combine those. So a really simple example, what comes off the end of a production line? Right, is not what was actually defined in a CAD system at the start of the process. The CAD design is a rather idealistic notion of something that should happen. What comes off at the end of the production line is different. Right. It's a variation of that. So if we can take that variation and simulate that, then we can get our design right much earlier, much more efficiently. And that's a key difference for what Hexagon does. That idea of physical plus the virtual, bring them together.